por alejar la historia, jóvenes. Exactamente, que el que puede pagar va al cielo y el que no, señor. Exactamente, señor. Pásale, por favor. Legalmente, utilizaban el aparato para pena de muerte en España. Hace 45 años le daban la vuelta a la palanca para que el pico o émulo se parara. La principal vértebra cervical. La vértebra, aunque no lo crean, es la más importante. La muerte aquí es instantánea. ¿Lo pueden comprender la idea? Sí. Entonces, señorita, le damos la vuelta. Su cabeza permanece en la tina que contiene el agua de drenaje. Antes de que esté muerto, se le saca. Y en la parte de afuera se le pregunta si quiere confesar. Y si no quiere, ¿qué pasa? Otra vuelta. Otra vuelta. Hasta que muera o confiese. ¿Y si confiesa? Depende del delito. Es como la silla, te estoy interrogando. Es depende del castigo para luego la muerte. So down 60 meters underground in a silver mine which was closed in 1810. The miners used to work 14-hour shifts here. Uh, they'd retire at 32, and their life expectancy was 35 years, so they had a nice three-year-long retirement. Sacaban petas de plata, 20 centímetros, 6 centímetros de espesor, muy costeable, muy rentable. ¿Cuánto es lo que quedó hoy en día? 300 gramos de plata por tonelada de rocotiana. Ya no hay nada. Se acabó, se agotó el mineral. ¿Y por qué no le buscan de este lado? Porque no hay nada. Únicamente... I'm high up on the hill next to the Mexican city of Guanajuato. It's quite an uh, amazing looking city, very colonial, very colorful. And I'm, I'm up here partly because it's a reminder that Mexico itself as a country is at quite a high altitude. And that means the air is a lot thinner. And it wasn't until about a day or two in that I realized I've been getting very tired, very tired very quickly. Uh, I'm someone who walks a lot. And so it was really unusual. I thought it might have been jet lag or lack of sleep, but I have no jet lag because we're in the same time zone and I've been sleeping quite well. And I think it is the altitude. It's amazing how quickly it hits you because you don't realize. You don't realize immediately. It's after you walk and spend the day out that you just get really, really tired. More so when you're up this high with this sort of view. I just sit here and watch it. I think that's the easiest thing to do. Anyway, a little bit of a quick tour. Uh, church, 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 university. Pretty much have it. <laughs> no, what you don't see from here is all of the tunnels that are underground in this city. So it's actually got three levels. I'm up here on the top level. Second level in the middle is what you see there. All the, the city and underground are these tunnels for a lot of the traffic to move around so people actually get around the city through some underground tunnels that were built in the last couple of decades. There's nowhere else in the world I've seen like it. Uh, you've kind of got the hills of Valparaíso and that's what the city does look like and also the multiple levels of Edinburgh, although I'd argue Edinburgh is a little bit different.